last week we put the isolation code on right and so this part is exactly pretty much like the isolation code there's nothing really any different that we're going to do i did want to show you so this is the one we did the isolation code last week so the colors are a little more brilliant and i don't have anything to compare with it um, but it is it looks nicer with the isolation coat on. This is the one that I varnished in Artsy Lounge and I put the glossy sheen on it. I'm also going to be putting the glossy sheen on this. I don't know, where should it go, matte? I wanna show you guys what the matte one looks like. I had put the matte varnish and you see there's no shine on this at all. Okay, and sometimes you want that effect and sometimes you want that glossy effect. I'm trying to decide which to go with. Now, either is fine. Um, I do wanna show you that the glossy one, this is um, the one where I don't need to add water. So always make sure to read the directions in the back. This one specifically says, do not thin with water versus the matte one you do thin with water so make sure to read the directions in the back i'm gonna go ahead and with the glossy sheen again i do feel like i like the gloss a little bit more and it works for a lot of these paintings so i'm doing the exact same thing here i went and made sure to get a separate brush you don't want to use a brush where you've got paint in it because little pieces of paint although you know if you see the color of paint in there there's little paint particles stuck in there and if you go to varnish it and put that you might get tiny little specks of that paint in the top of your painting which is not great okay so i just put a little v to remember i'm using this for varnish i've got the eye for the isolation coat i do use two separate uh, paint brushes and that's what i would recommend for you too unless for some reason you're really great at cleaning out your brushes. If you spend a good amount of time cleaning out your brushes well, then fine, go ahead and use the same brush for the, iso for the isolation coat and the varnish. So I'm using a separate one. I'm getting a little dish again too, because what I do, I don't wanna shake this, okay? It's gonna create a bunch of bubbles. You're supposed to stir it. And what I do um, is I don't want to just drip it right on my painting either. So I might as well just put a little bit in here in this dish. And then I mix that up with my brush. And then I apply it on just like I did with the isolation coat. I'm gonna get a separate brush right now just to dust, dust this off one more time, just because I have a cat and her hair gets everywhere and I don't want cat hairs stuck in here. Okay, so same thing, starting kind of at the center. And then working from the edges in, that way it's not dripping all over the place. Making sure to get the edges in the corners. And it says do not, well, it doesn't say don't brush vigorously, but if you brush vigorously, then you're gonna get it kind of cloudy. So try not to brush too vigorously. <laughs> Okay, so now I've covered it and then I just do this again where I just slightly go right over it one more time.
Take a look at it closely. Make sure there's no hair stuck to it. You know, if there's hair stuck to it, you can still get it out by pushing your brush into the hair. It'll lift it out and then you just run your brush over it one more time and that should clean it all up. All right, and looking, when you look at the side, you can look, you can see a reflection from the sun. You can see a reflection of it just to make sure you did cover everything and mine looks good. So I'm just gonna rinse this out now. I don't need that anymore. And that's it, that's the varnish. Now with this one though, you guys, it recommends two to three coats and I need to wait at least three hours between each coat. So I need to wait at least three hours and then, then apply another coat on, okay? And then um, that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm gonna move this back again to another area with no, with little dust and no cat. And that's it, you guys. I'm gonna stop the recording again.